What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to understand orthotics like AFOs so that you can better treat your patients and also pass the NPTE. So in this video, we'll be focusing on AFO orthotics. This stands for ankle foot orthosis. And so usually you'll see something around the foot, something around the calf, and some kind of ankle joint in between. This provides a little bit more support and stability for your patients that may have weakness or another type of condition that limits their ankle function and balance. There is a type of metal AFO that has basically two metal uprights with a band around the calf and foot, and usually the ankle joint you can either lock in place or you can allow a certain range of motion. AFOs more typically come in a plastic version. This allows a little bit more flexibility so it's not quite as rigid and it's a little bit lighter which is nice for a lot of patients. In this plastic version you can still get a rigid AFO. This does not have an articulated joint but the plastic does allow some amount of bend and this usually has a longer foot plate which can decrease some spasticity. Or the plastic AFO can be articulated. This can allow some joint play both in plantar flexion dorsiflexion and in inversion eversion depending on the amount of stability that your patient needs. A posterior leaf spring AFO usually has the metal part that goes behind the malleolus. This allows for a little bit of dorsiflexion assist which can be really helpful in your patients that have drop foot or really weak dorsiflexors. And a floor reaction AFO actually has a piece of plastic that goes in front of the shin rather than behind behind the calf. This allows for some knee extension assist. When you're considering an AFO or trying to adjust the one that your patient has, it's really important to consider where your patient is weak, spastic, and the amount of stability that they have and what's required from their AFO to actually allow them functional gait. Now it's time for NPT Jeopardy. Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, Two, one. Remember that the plastic behind the malleolus helps assist in dorsiflexion to prevent toe drag and drop foot. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes on Etsy, or you can comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Otherwise, good luck studying. Go change the world.